have their first championship title in 16 years. Pennington has bowled his socks off and he's in again to Mornay Morkel, who does hit it around the corner, and that is the winning runs. And that is Surrey's first championship since 2002, their 20th overall. You can see what it means to them. You know, once again, we were behind in that game, Worcester, Worcester playing some very good cricket. And uh, to get over the line, again, was just incredibly pleasing. Um, I couldn't watch a great deal of it. I was actually, if you look back at that footage, I think I came out quite late because I was actually on the physio bed trying to preoccupy myself with, with all sorts, just uh, to not actually take in what was going on, um, drinking coffee, pacing up and down, and just sort of sitting, trying to keep myself slightly disinterested, but interested, obviously, in what was going on out there, because, you know, we're on the verge of, of you know, doing what we set out to achieve, and, and then to achieve it, it's, uh, it was quite a surreal feeling, yeah. Even though we had a little hiccup just shy of when uh, the two oldies, or the two tall lads, I should call them, in, in Mornay and Ricky, um, had that little partnership, but I wasn't, I to say it, wasn't worried. Um, by then I knew we were winning the championship. We wanted to win it at Worcester, we wanted to win it um, with a one game, and that's eventually what we did, but when Orne showed all his qualities as a batsman, um, he's always wanted to be Matthew Hayden, and that's a Matthew Hayden shot, so it was a massive, massive moment. It was a great picture and video of the three coaches, Diver and, and Vikram and then myself sat on a bench and that moment we all jump up and then the lads to our left. Um, all the hard work, all the emotion came out uh, and a lot of hard work which started a long time ago was rewarded with that moment. It, it was brilliant, you know. Um, it's just all the cases, you know, talk about experience, you know, those sort of situations I've been in many times before and it's just a case of just keeping your calm, what will be will be, um, trusting your, your processes and, you know, wait for the bad ball, so to speak. So um, I felt relatively confident. Then we lost a couple of wickets and, you know, I was like, well, is this not going to be the, the day? Do we have to wait another week? And then when Mornay pulled it to the boundary, you know, just to be out there in the middle, um, being a Surrey lad from under nine, you know, it was a very special feeling and uh, one I remember and, and cherish for a long time to come. I'm always glad any time I don't have to walk out and bat. Um, but yeah, I think it was almost fitting, wasn't it, that the contribution he had made up until that point to get us over the line in the championship, you know, 50 up wickets at 13, whatever the, the, the crazy stats were. I think it was almost fitting that he hit the winning runs. I think he was, he's been pretty open in terms of, before coming here, one of his ambitions is to get a first class 100. And, uh, you know, on, on, some of the, on some of the shots and some of the performances we've seen from him at the bat, I wouldn't put it past him, you know, he's that sort of character. So for him to be able to, to get the winning runs and me to quite firmly stay up in that dressing room, yes, getting some pad rash, but very nervous. Nevertheless, I was uh, very glad he clipped it off the hip before. And Tom Curran showing all his inexperience and uh, I will be sending the dry cleaning bill to Surrey for that one. Good to see everything come together like it has this year. Um, the boys play so well. And, uh, you know, we've played terrific cricket all year and, and thoroughly deserve this. Really, really proud of the, proud of the group. And Essex close on 197 for two, leading champion Surrey County Cricket Club by 130 runs. It's been an absolutely sensational day for the visitors. A game of cricket to come down to one wicket, having been bowled out for 67 in the first inning, so then have a 410 run deficit. Uh, I think I've spoken a couple of times in this about you know where we were in different situations and, and that sort of thing and being behind the eight ball. I think that's about as far behind the eight ball as you can find yourself. And to, <laughs> to almost get ourselves over the line and you know the way the boys run in to try and make that happen that final afternoon. Um, I've praised them all year. That bowling group's been been pretty exceptional. Obviously, the first innings didn't go to plan. Um, and I think yeah, sometimes you come up against good good teams where conditions kind of favour. Um, their bowlers, but yeah, I think to bounce back the way we did because I guess that's one thing when you're confident and you you've won the league already, that's probably the best time to do it. But um, to yeah, have such a big deficit and not kind of think are oh, the games up, we've won the league, throwing the towel show, shows where the group's at in terms of always wanting to um, stretch themselves and win every game possible regardless. The fact that we were so far behind the game after that first innings. 
uh, you almost have no right to even compete in the game. Um, but to sort of claw our way back slowly, uh, almost to the point where we're actually challenging for the game, speaks volumes for, uh, for all, of that, all of that group. It has been a quite glorious game of four-day cricket. Obviously, we're going to have the expectations next year where everyone's going to be like, oh, the champions, they expect them to do well. But obviously, we've got to keep our heads down and keep hitting those hours in the nets and in the gym and um, making sure we're as fit as we can be for coming into April next year. Uh, winning trophies for this club means a lot to, to, to the players. And uh, I've got no doubt that when they walk onto the field, they'll give 100%. But for me, it's just a matter of you know having that mental freshness, having that hunger to go out and you know replicate the same we did this season by taking runs, go, going that extra mile on the field with the ball, and you know fighting for 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 every inch. It's just all about improving. Um, how can each individual improve themselves? Um, fitness has always been good. Can you be fitter? Strength is always important in cricket. Can you be stronger? Um, can you add a different shot to your game? Can you um, create a different ball or have a ball that you're, you're confident with bowling? You know, just uh, trying to improve the, the best you can. The willingness to improve everyone, um, has to, everyone has to have that hunger. Um, not just the players, but the coaches, the background staff, everyone in the club needs to have that hunger. I wouldn't like to see too much change, I don't think in the training patterns and whatever, but. I think whatever we've been doing seems to be working. We've prepared well and that's been a key to our success. So, you know, one thing that we can take from this is almost the confidence that we've done it. Now we go and do it again. It didn't just happen. You know, yes, there's planning, there's hard work and then delivering the skills which your players have done. Um, but once you've won once, you want to win again. That's the important thing. So if you're going to be successful, you have to work and work and work and try and improve on what you've done previously. So. You can almost say the easiest part is winning the first championship. The hardest will be repeating again next year. I think that the first thing is the realisation that good teams win a championship, great teams win a lot of championships. So I guess if the players can ask themselves that question, you know, do we just want to be a good team or do we want to be remembered as a great team? I think we've made it pretty clear. We're obviously unbelievably happy with what we've done this year and being champions is an unbelievable feeling, but we're also making it very clear to us as individuals and as a team that this is just the start of hopefully something very special.